Hello everyone, welcome back to Math Mood. Here we have interesting equation x cubed minus 1 equal to 0. Of course we can write that our x equal to 1 and this will be enough, but let's find all roots. Let's improve our knowledge, let's find all roots. First of all, if this is our x cube and minus 1, this one can be written as 1 cube. Why? Why? Because then I use the formula different of cubes. So this one can be written as 1 cube. So let's do this, we will have our 1 cube right here, and this x I rewrite minus equal to 0. Ok, we have x cube minus 1 cube, we can use the formula different of cubes, we will have our formula a cube minus b cube. It will be equal to a minus b times a square plus a b and plus b square. So let's use this formula right here. So we will have an interesting case. We will have our x minus 1. And in parentheses we will have x square plus x and plus 1 equal to 0. This is our x, this is our a, this is our b, and I use the formula different of cubes. Nothing hard. So our a equal to x and our b equal to 1. And I use this formula different of cubes. Nothing hard. Ok, what are we going to do next? Of course we have parentheses equal to 0, so this parentheses equal to 0 and this parentheses equal to 0 as well. So we will have right here x minus 1 equal to 0. So from here x equal to 1. As you can see this is our root in the beginning, this is the most obvious root x equal to 1. But let's find another root, let's find maybe complex root, maybe more real roots, let's check right here. So we'll have second parentheses, x square plus x plus 1 equal to 0. Our a equal to 1, our b equal to 1 and our c equal to 1. So let's find our x. It will be our x 2 and 3 of course equal to minus b minus 1 plus minus right here, square root of 1 minus 4 times 1 times 1 over 2. And let's simplify this a little bit, we will have x2 and 3 equal to minus 1 plus minus, right here we will have minus square root of 3 over 2. And this is our 2 and 3 root, second and third root. So let's write this root right here, so our first root x equal to 1. This is our first root in real numbers. And let's simplify this a little bit, so our minus 1 can be written as e, square root of minus 1 can be written as e, and square root of 3 will add right here, so our second and third root will be equal to minus 1 plus minus e square root of 3 over 2. This is our second and third root. But in the same way we can simplify this a little bit, we can write this as minus 1 half plus minus e square root of 3 over 2. Just dividing this by 2 and this by 2. So this will be our three roots. This is this root is good for us because we have x cube right here, so we will have three roots. But in our case we have one root in real numbers, the most obvious root, 1 minus 1 equal to 0, and we have two complex roots right here. Minus 1 half plus minus e square root of 3 over 2. Thank you so much for watching, if you agree with this method, if you disagree, write your suggestion in a comment, write your question in a comment, put thumbs up, subscribe for more videos, I really appreciate it, thank you for watching and see you in the next videos.